Hi everybody, so that's Delay Machine 2 by Tukan Studios. It looks big, but don't worry, I will explain everything. So in this first video, um, we're gonna have a look at the basic functions. Um, it's a delay plugin that features two delay lines. The first is this one, the second is this one. Let's hear what only one delay line does. So we set the output of the second delay line to zero. First on the left, we have the input selection, uh, means your plugin is um, fed from the, um, from the door with a left and a right channel. And here you can choose the amount uh, of the channels going in the delay line. So let's make it mono 50-50. Then you have the output section on the right side. So how many output comes from that uh, delay line and goes it to the left or to the right um, output of the plugin. Let's set to the middle as well. And then of course you have the delay section itself. So you can turn on and off the delay. You can set the delay time and you can set the um, feedback amount, how many delays we want to hear. And of course, um, as nearly every delay plugin has, we have the output dry wet selector. So if we turn that to dry, the input coming to the plugin will be played back at the output. Or we turn that to wet, is only the output of the delay lines will be uh, at the output of the plugin. Or we can hear both or anything in between. So let's see what we got. And if I turn down that knob, the delay gets faster because the delay time is shorter. And if I turn down the feedback, there will be less um, delays. So far, so good. Let's see what we have in the filters section. You can turn off and on the filters and here you can filter out the lows. Here you can filter out the highs. So let's say we want to thin out the delay. Or have it less bright. In this next section, um, we have the drive section. So you can set the amount of overdrive to the um, delays. And switch that on and off. You can switch on tape mode, which means high loss per cycle. And you can turn on crush mode which bit crushes per cycle. So that's basically it. And now, as I said, we have two delay lines. So let's set the input to the left, this input to the right, this output to the left, this output to the right, and this output at 100%. And you see, we have different delay times. So we will hear different things on the left and the right channel. <laughs> and now we can also link the parameters. So we have the same delay time, or we have the same feedback amount, the same filters, the same amount of drive and so on. So you can design two delay lines 
um, choose if it's full stereo, if they're both mono but doing different things, you can mix them and so on. For more advanced stuff, see the next video. Have fun.